Last week I made a video about one-handed backhand passing shots and I talked about the importance of loading your back or outside hip and I got a question in the comment section asking me what I meant by that. So in this video I just want to break that down in a little bit more detail and explain what I meant by loading your hip and how to load your hip and kind of how to practice it. Hopefully it'll be helpful to you. If it is, be awesome if you give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel before, it's always greatly appreciated if you could do that as well. So loading your hip is something that you're going to do as part of your preparation. You'll do it on all of your strokes. So one-handed backhand, two-handed backhand, slice backhand, forehand. You'll even do it on your serve. Tennis is all about the timing of when you drive through the back hip to start your kinetic chain in relationship to where the ball is. We think it's about our arms because, you know, the hand is holding the racket and obviously the hand is important and the arm's important, but the hard part is what you do with your legs and timing that. So you've got to make sure that you're preparing properly and loading your outside or your back hip so that then you can effectively use your kinetic chain. So on the one-handed backhand, if you're a right-handed player, I'm thinking about loading my left hip. So I'll do my unit term with the upper body to start my preparation. My racket's going to be somewhere up there. This, depending on your precise style, it might look a little bit different. You could be down there. It doesn't matter so much. What does matter is that you rotate your upper body and that you twist into this hip. So think about the belly button going more towards the hip. So I'm rotating into that hip. I'm loading the external rotator muscles at the back of the hip because that's what's going to allow me to then drive through that hip. The power comes from pushing through this back leg rotating the hip forwards to start the use of the kinetic chain. So you need to load up on the hip, so rotate into the hip, the legs bent a little bit, so then now as I step forwards, I push through this hip as I start the racket drop into there. So regardless of where the ball is, what type of backhand you're hitting, it's always going to be the same. So I step across, loading into this hip, initiating the swing, there. Even if I'm kind of stepping across and I'm going to hit an open stance one hand backhand, it's still the same. I'll still load this hip and then hit through there. Or moving backwards, load the hip, hit through there. Moving forwards, it looks a little bit different if you're moving forwards to a short ball because maybe I'm going to be stepping behind as I make contact. But as part of that final preparation before contact, I still load this hip in some way because that's what allows me to drive through it. So that's what I mean by loading the hip, twisting into the hip. So then you can use the big external rotator muscles, the glutes, to be able to drive the start of the swing. And like I said, it's all about timing that in relation to the flight of the ball. And in my opinion, one of the best ways to develop the ability to do this is practicing and training and working on your footwork without the ball first. So going through and doing different repetitions of the footwork patterns, so preparing for different types of backhands and for all of your other shots, and kind of programming in what does it feel like within your body to set up and to load your hip as you're moving, as you're doing your unit turn. And by getting lots of repetitions of that, then when you go out and do the on-court practice, it's much easier and you're gonna learn much more quickly. To help you with that, I've created a free footwork program. I'll place a link to the free program up there and I'll place a link to the free program down in the description so you can click on either of those links get it start working on it and it should make a really big difference okay hopefully this has been helpful and you now understand what I meant by loading the hip if you have any other questions about the technical side of things maybe stuff that I've talked about in my video that I didn't explain properly or in a way that you could understand or maybe you've watched another video and you didn't quite understand what the coach meant leave me a comment down below it's always nice to hear what people need help with so then I could just quickly whip up a quick video and hopefully help you with it okay if you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel much appreciated if you could do that as well i'll catch you next time